We now cut across to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, who gets us the recent updates from New Delhi. Sidhan, thanks for joining us. We understand high-level discussions are underway at India's EMEA. Uh, what can be said about India's response? We know there are Indian students in Ukraine, in Kiev, in the capital especially. Tell us more about that. Well, alarm bells have rung across the world and New Delhi is not different. Uh, MEA is uh, uh, holding uh, an important meeting which is underway. But uh, the actions taken by India is uh, to find alternate routes to make sure that uh, it can evacuate its nationals in uh, the country. 20,000 Indian nationals, many of them students. I have been speaking to many of these students since morning and they have uh, been uh, uh, very very panicky about the situation, but of course, New Delhi has assured that they will quickly make sure that the contingency plan is put in place. Secondly, of course, India has rushed more of its diplomats. This has happened already. Uh, who are Russian-speaking diplomats so that they help in communication and things can be eased out, given the fact that India has uh, multiple times had the United Nations Security Council as well said that well-being of its nationals is the number one priority. Right, Siddhant. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the state of Indian students and what is being done to make sure they are timely evacuated. That, of course, is the biggest concern after the recent developments. Well, of course, uh, uh, the Indian side is working on an alternate plan to make sure that these Indian nationals can come. In fact, an Air India flight had left earlier today at 7.30 a.m. To, uh, to Ukraine, but it had to be diverted back uh, to Delhi because of the no-fly zone that was created over Ukraine and its border with Russia. So number one focus is the creation of an alternative route so that these Indian nationals can come. And second, of course, is to make sure that the Indian students and nationals are are being taken care of. Uh, Indian mission has issued an advisory earlier today in the day asking them to stay inside uh, their their uh, places, uh, the, the places of dwelling. And that is, of course, the message by the Indian mission in Kiev, which is working normally. Right, Sidhan, thank you so much for all those updates. We'll, of course, uh, try and get uh, the situation on ground from an Indian student on the other side of this short break on Beyond World is One. Stay tuned. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.